I'm Mike Gorman, an historian of Civil War Richmond and one of the technical advisors on Steven Spielberg's Lincoln. On April 4, 1865, Abraham Lincoln visited the city of Richmond and he landed right here. This has been sort of a comedy of errors, wound up on a rowboat, oared by Marines, coming all the way up the James River and putting in on a sandbar that really no longer exists just over my right shoulder. He will cross a bridge, which likewise no longer exists, almost exactly below modern Interstate 95. When he lands in Richmond, he will be almost immediately recognized by former slaves and thronged as he begins to walk through the streets of Richmond on his way to the White House of the Confederacy. After this incredible walk through Richmond, Lincoln finally arrives at his destination. Here he'll be shown into this room where he'll sit and ask for a glass of water. His rest was short-lived. Former Supreme Court Justice John Campbell shows up with a plan to end the war, of calling the Virginia legislature back together and having them rescind the ordinance of secession. Thereupon, all Virginians would come back into the Union. Lincoln sees this as a really good idea and gives Campbell the authorization. Campbell leaves here thinking, we've done it. We've begun the end of the war. And Lincoln gets into a carriage with several other officers and begins to drive around the city. After his meeting at the White House, Abraham Lincoln and his entourage took a wagon and proceeded down 9th Street, entering Capitol Square just behind me. At some point in this vicinity, they stopped and viewed the equestrian statue of Washington here on Capitol Square. This was just no ordinary statue. This was the statue that had become the seal of the Confederacy. Washington's image was graven there forever. What visual symbolism? Lincoln from this point proceeded around the Capitol and became fearful for his life as the wagon took the corner too fast along the southeast corner of the Capitol. After driving through the square, they'll return to 9th Street. And the best sources have Lincoln and his entourage proceeding right down 9th to Cary. After driving through the burned district of Richmond and visiting the famous Libby Prison, Lincoln was finally brought here to Rocket's Landing, where the USS Malvern had finally arrived. Here he would be taken aboard by Admiral Porter, and he would spend the night right here in the James River. The next morning, Judge Campbell arrived to finalize plans for calling the Virginia legislature back together. The Malvern steamed away in the early afternoon, and Lincoln would never visit the city again. He had nine days to live.